Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the tiles preset object. It is intended to describe the generation. Let's create one. WFC3 tiles preset. Opening it, we see an area for many different types of tiles that will be used in the generation. You can add by button or drag from the browser content. Drag the tile type created in the last video. We can rename it. Let's call it corner. Further, the tiles presets property allows you to add other tiles preset objects. This allows you to split the generation setting into several tiles preset objects. We don't need it right now. The following property is used to indicate different neighbors of tile types in the XY plane. Let's add one. The drop down list shows all the tile types that we added to the tiles preset. We have added only one tile type so far, we are choosing it. Next, we can add different tile types that can be adjacent to the selected one. We only have one tile type, so we'll select it and delete the rest. The left cross corresponds to the left tile type, and the right cross corresponds to the right tile type. By clicking on the squares, they will be filled in with color. Sides with the same colors indicate that these sides of the selected tile types can be adjacent. Here we have two types of tile corner. We have indicated that the right side of the left tile type can be adjacent to the front side of the right tile type. This side of the left tile type can be adjacent to the right tile type. It looks like this. We indicated that we would allow such a neighborhood option. They also indicated that the lower side of the left tile can be adjacent to the left side. It means such a neighborhood. It is enough to specify only a pair in one direction from left to right. Neighbors in other directions on the left, front and back will be added automatically. The following property is used to specify different neighbors of tile types along the z-axis. Add one. We will also select the desired tile type from the list. Next, we can add various tile types that can be adjacent to the selected tile type from above.
We have only one. We choose it. We can delete the rest. The all spins flag indicates that the tile type can be adjacent from above at any turn. This neighborhood option is possible. This option is possible. This option is also possible. If you turn off the all spins flag, you can specify at which turn this type of tile can be adjacent from above. That's it. In the next video we will try to set up a simple generation. Thank you all.